614, welcome back to KSAT 12 and GMSA, located right off Bandera Road in Leon Valley. The Hebner Onion House is a historical landmark. It's also apparently haunted by the ghost of its first owner. Erica Hernandez, along with a psychic and members of the San Antonio Paranormal Investigators, tour the house to see if the ghost of Joseph Hebner comes out. Prominent jeweler in the 1800s, Joseph Hebner purchased land and built a home in the Leon Valley area in 1862. Hebner, who was known to be a bit of a drinker, would later die an unusual death in 1882 after a load of whiskey came through. When he finished the first bottle, he grabbed another, but he didn't know they were also hauling kerosene, and he took a big drink of that ran into the house and collapsed. And after Hebner died, he was buried on this property on the other side of this creek. And after that, that is when the ghost stories began. Now, whether he was buried alive or not, his, he didn't want to leave. Strange things weren't reported until 1930 when the Onion family would move into the house. Matriarch Marion Onion and her family would begin to hear footsteps and the piano playing on its own. They moved in and she tells the ghost stories. We have it on tape when she was still living of all the experiences she felt in this home. Immediately when psychic Deborah Tudor got to the property the night we visited, she felt like someone was there with us. Earlier this evening, I was getting the feeling of a man walking on the balcony. An EVP session was conducted to see if we could catch anything on camera. Where's here? Please talk into this device. During that session, Annette Patton from San Antonio Paranormal Investigations felt something cold close to her that was trying to lead her to another room. I'm getting the impression that he, you know, whoever's here wants us to go that way for some reason. Besides a few other cold spots throughout the house, that was the most activity we came across that night. So there's no telling whether the ghost of Joseph Hebner still haunts the house. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.